hey guys and welcome back to my channel this is like the second like okay this week i filmed two videos like one day after the other like that that hasn't happened in such a long time i don't know i'm feeling so inspired this week and it's not like i, ha I don't have other work to do like i have so much other work but i've just been inspired to create youtube content and this doesn't come often so i'm just seizing this opportunity and just going to go with the flow you know so it's around, it's around 4 p.m in cape town I have a class at 6 p.m. So um, I want to film this as quickly as possible <laughs> before the before the class. It's just that I've been postponing this video for so long. So I was like, you know what? I don't know when I'm going to get time this week. I have time now. Let me do it now. So, yes. As you can see from the title of the video, this is a fashion haul. And I've been wanting to, this, to do this for so long. Um, because when I went back to Kenya, I got a lot of new clothes. Which, um, yeah, so yeah. Before I went back to Kenya, I hadn't, like, really gotten any new clothes. I hadn't even gone shopping for myself. Like, I had done no clothes jewelry shopping at all so it was really exciting to get like new stuff from my mom and just you'll see it through throughout the video so i really hope you enjoy this video i love filming fashion hauls i love watching fashion hauls like so i'm really hoping you guys also like this video as well so don't feel free to leave a comment down below giving me your feedback and yes let us get right into the video <laughs> Okay, so as you can see from what I'm wearing and from my face that I don't, I don't barely have any makeup on. So the only thing I've put is I've attempted to slightly just draw these eyebrows just so that they're not looking as bad as they were looking earlier. So at least they have like some minimal sort of shape. Um, yeah, so I'm, I also have like a few beauty products I want to share with you guys. So I'm going to keep putting on new things as this video goes along you know the way patricia bright does it yeah i can love her videos so trying to copy her <laughs> anyway um okay so since i'm going to be trying on a number of new outfits i want to put on a lipstick that can go with everything yeah so i think i think the best lipstick for all the clothes i'm going to try on is red because with this outfit currently <laughs> It would go really well with blue, but then the blue might not go well with some other outfits. So we'll just stick to red. So this is a red lipstick from Nakshi Nuba Milebachi. <laughs> yeah, so let us just get right onto it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So by the way, thank you guys so much for all the positive feedback I've been getting from from <laughs> from my recent YouTube video, like the one about me dealing with depression. Like, wow, you guys have really like sent me words of encouragement, which is which is nice. Thank you so much, and I really hope I'm really happy that it helped some of you guys, or it just made you feel like. You know, going through something difficult is not the end of the world. You know, things will definitely get better. Yeah. Okay. So, um, that was not supposed to be part of the whole, but let me just, let's just go with the flow. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to be talking to you guys about is, what should I start with? Um, okay. So, this eyeliner, it's a liquid eyeliner. So, this is my first liquid eyeliner I have ever, ever owned in my whole entire life. So it is from Body Shop. My mom bought it for me. Okay, she didn't buy it for me. She bought it for herself, but then she tried to use it once and she didn't really like it. So she gave it to me. And I love it. So now I can attempt to do like a winged eye. So that's what I'm gonna attempt. Okay, I won't attempt to do a winged eye. I'm just gonna put no more eyeliner so that you guys don't like I don't want I don't want pressure on me right now. <laughs> So what I really love about this eyeliner is that it's really um, easy to apply. Like, look at that. Um, 
as com- as 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 compared to other liquid eyeliner which are super difficult to apply this is really easy so if you are a beginner with liquid eyeliner i would definitely recommend the body shop liquid eyeliner yeah it's dope it's dope and it lasts the whole um day it doesn't smudge it, it dries up well so the body shop you're doing the things <laughs> uh so the next item i'm going to be sharing is okay i feel like i should just wait for this um I don't have to dry <laughs> but anyway it's this bobby brown mascara so my mascara finished um i used to use okay it didn't finish so i i've been using estee Lauder mascara like for the longest time ever and i think since my trick uh, mostly because my mom buys a lot of estee Lauder mascara and then so she just like gives me um when i need a new one so i don't know what happened to mine to be honest i think it's just like some shady friend who maybe during a night out i gave them to use it and never returned it or something because one night i had it the next day i didn't and it's not yeah i don't think anyone would go into my past just to steal mascara so it probably has to be a friend or some something like that, someone like that yeah so i lost my estelada mascara so when i went back home i asked my mom for mascara and she didn't have any estelada but she had bobby brown so can you imagine she gave me bobby brown and it's just like it's called a smoky eye mascara this is how it looks uh yeah so let's put it on i love this mascara so much you guys what like yeah I'm trying not to like use it too much because I, like when it finishes <laughs> I'm gonna probably have to downgrade but for now I am loving it So yeah, that's how the mascara looks like. Um, yeah, it just adds that like finished look, you know. So I don't have any foundation on. The only thing I put on my face is moisturizer and a bit of concealer around my under my eyes and yeah, just around around my eyes just to cover the dark circles and stuff. But apart from that, yeah, I don't have any foundation on my face. So. Let us move on to the next thing. Those are the only two, two beauty things I was showing you guys. Like, yeah. <laughs> so let's move on to the fashion. So the next thing I'm going to be sharing with you guys is a number of different earrings that I bought this month. Yeah, just to treat myself for Women's Day. So um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you probably saw my story where I was talking about the lovisa sale so lovisa is one of like in my opinion one of the best jewelry brands like they have amazing jewelry for like young female adults so yeah and they always have like random sales so they had this sale for where i bought five different pairs of earrings for 200 rand and that's such a good sale because guys their earrings are so expensive so usually like i would have paid something like 650 rand um, as opposed to 200 and 200 rand for the five earrings yeah so thank you lovisa <laughs> um okay so before we move, move to the lovisa earrings let me talk about the earrings i'm wearing so these earrings are also new these ones are for mr price mr price is the plug for jewelry as well it's one of also my top um brands for jewelry so one of my top go-to brands for jewelry and they're affordable these were like i think these were 20 rand by the way so yeah i'm loving them Another um, good um, buy from Mr. Price were these orange earrings. Let me actually just wear them so that you guys can see how amazing they look. Because they go with everything. They also, you, know, you know orange and blue go together, you guys. So never uh, feel shy to color block orange and blue. They actually go together. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> uh yes so yeah actually i think i'm going to stick to these for the rest of the video <laughs> i think i might stick to these for the rest of the video so these are for mr price and can you imagine how these how much these gorgeous orange earrings were 10 rand can you imagine they're on sale the stopper is loose so 
that's the only problem with this Mr. Price earrings. I always find it difficult to um, get stoppers that properly fit, you know. It's always such a machine because now I've lost that one. But yeah, 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 yeah. These are the earrings. So I think I might just, should I just remove them? Okay, yeah, let me just remove them. So the next, so now let's move on to the Lovisa earrings. So for the Lovisa earrings, this is the bag, the packaging. Lovisa. Um, yeah, so I got five different pairs as I told you. These were the first pairs, which I just love. Like, okay, let me see how I can hold this so you guys can see them. Yeah, these. How gorgeous are these earrings, you guys? So, let's try them on. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna turn all the five yeah, um, pairs of earrings, because some of them have not even worn them yet. So, I'll probably, st I think I'm gonna stick to this for the video. On for the video. I just love these earrings. They're so vintage, they're so classy, and I've kind of been loving the vintage classy look lately. So let's stick to these. I also got loops because I realized that I don't have loops. Like all my loops are lost, you know. So I got like this big gold, nice, bouncy loops, which I've not worn yet. I'm still waiting for like, you know, that special occasion. <laughs> um, I also got okay now i feel like i want to change into these ones <laughs> i also got these very cute like feathery tassel like um earrings so what i noticed when i went shopping is that the colors that are in season currently are gold and navy, navy blue which is so weird because i've been loving a navy blue lately like loving navy blue lately as you can see what i'm wearing <laughs> so yeah i got these I wore this to an event actually. So should I try this on? Let me try, let me just try. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. <laughs> let's just do it. I actually love these earrings. Mm, yeah. And they have like a little leaf, if you can see. Which is really I think it's really cute. Guys, I, I love jewelry. I used to love jewelry when I was. I still do, but like when I was younger, because jewelry was like the most affordable thing <laughs> I could buy for myself. So I would go to town in Kenya and just spend so much money on jewelry. Like when I came to Cape Town, I had boxes, jewelry boxes, and jewelry boxes, and jewelry boxes of jewelry. So much jewelry. And then like yeah, over the years I just threw it all away, gave it out, got spoiled, got lost. You know. So nowadays I don't have that much jewelry. Okay, so these these are the uh, blue ones. Oh my god, they look so guys. I don't know why the camera cut me off in the middle of my conversation with you guys, but yeah. Basically, I showed you. Uh, I just need to show you the last pair of earrings I got, which were these. So I wore these to the Cosmo Fash Fest. Um, go watch the vlog. It's up. And then I also got these bangles again from. So this was the fifth item I got from Novisa. These bangles, yeah, which they came in a set of three. And then I also, for last but not least, I got this. This, this is not jewelry, um, but this pair of sunnies from Mr. Price. These were like twenty rands on sale, and I was just like, what? I love how they like reflect, you know, the blue and the green and the yellow and the just. I just love them and then they have like accents of gold um gold and black they're so classy guys like okay let's try them on hmm, like you gosh look at that like such a babe you know someone just needs to come and take me somewhere beautiful like camps bay or clifton you know, give me some champagne to sip, take photos of me just because I look so fabulous. <laughs> but yeah, these are these are these are the shades. These are the shades. These are the shades. Twenty rand. Twenty rand. A plug. And then the last ones, by the way, I remember picking them and like saying I'm not leaving these twenty rand shades today. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so the last, so I think that's it, that's it for um, accessories. Then there's also okay, so. This is a fragrance that I've also been loving. So I've been loving this fragrance by Barbary. 
it's called the Barbary touch and it's for women it has like I don't know how to explain scents but it has like this woody sort of scent I don't know these are what they call such such scents these are what they use these beauty gurus but I don't know the word they use but just know it has like sort of a rich woody scent you know it's just so Whew. I love it and it's so feminine and it's just so strong and powerful it gives me that like they you know just that woman empowerment feeling <laughs> yeah so I love, I've been loving this um, scent a lot a lot a lot so I got this from my mom so my mom has been traveling a lot this year like as she always does just living her best life so she went to Chicago recently and dude she came back with so many things like this lady left with two empty suitcases I had actually lent her one of my suitcases she coming back and both suitcases are bursting open. She even tore, kind of tore one of my suitcases. But I couldn't complain because she bought me so many nice things, including this fragrance. <laughs> and a lot of the things you're going to see, um, the clothes you'll see in the video, she also got them from Chicago and other, her other travels. So I can't really complain. So now let's move on to the clothing. The most exciting part. Okay, so the first thing is obviously this blue top I'm wearing. It's a blue velvet top. Um, this is from Mr. Price. I think it was 80 Rand if I'm not wrong. And it's just so beautiful. I'm going to stand up properly so I can show you guys exactly how it looks. Okay, cool. Okay, so this was the top um, that I was wanted to show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is the top from Mr. Price. I just love the shape and the fit. Like it fits so perfectly. Yeah. So yeah. So this is the top, and then the pants are also new. So these pants are from Calvin Klein. My mom bought this when she went to Chicago as well. Um, and actually, these pants. So let me tell you about these pants. So these pants. My mom bought them because my small sister suggested them because she saw Joy Candy in a similar pair of pants. We all love Joy Candy. Like. Do it, her fashion sense is on point. So that's how I got these pants. And I love that you can dress them up and dress them down as well. So, yeah. These are the pants. And then I paired them with my velvet boots. Okay guys, so let us talk about this next thing. So this next um, item is a scarf, this, the velvet scarf that I made and I've paired it with the velvet top. So yeah, this ruffle skirt is actually going for, how much is it going for? It's going for 450 Rand. It's literally just a wrap around. So this is how it looks. So flattering and what I love about it is that it can be like a one size fits all because um, it's a wraparound so basically you can just take it out <laughs> I won't take it out but then basically you wrap it like this and then um, you just tie it around basically and I love that there's like this little peak of skin it's just so it's like you know classy yet still a bit sexy which is cool um yeah and obviously <laughs> i 
cut this with my velvet boots. The thing. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, another thing I love about this hat is the ruffle detail. So I put, I just added some ruffles just to give it like that, you know, vava voom sort of look. Yes. So this is going for 450 rand. You can purchase it on my online store, tissuecolor.com forward slash shop. Yes. <laughs> okay. So another thing I got is this bag. So this bag is from Tommy Hilfiger, as you can see. This was bought for me by my mommy as well from Chicago. <laughs> and I just love it. I've told you guys I've been loving navy blue lately. And navy blue and gold, you know, that's on fashion right now. <laughs> which goes perfectly well with my outfit. So, yes. Let's pair it up and see. And I like that the size is not too big and not too small. So it can fit like quite a number of things, but it's also not too bulky, you know, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I decided to change my earrings just for this different look. So this is the first time I'm wearing these earrings from Novisa. And they're so nice, you guys. Like, wow, wow. I feel like now they're gonna become like my new favorite pair of loops. <laughs> um, so yes, I want to show you this next outfit. So for this look, I am wearing this sort of blazer. This is from, um, let me actually check. I'm not that sure. This is from. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so my mom went to Switzerland earlier this year and she also she did some shopping in Geneva as well. So this is from a brand called Zebra Fashion. Actually, these jeans as well. And I love that this is sort of like snake skin um, print and these jeans are also like snake skin print. So it's just like fierce and edgy and yes, yes. Um, yeah, this so this, these jeans are also new and they're also from Zebra Fashions and I bought at the same time that this was bought. And I also love the detail on the sleeves, um, the zip detail, it just adds to the edge, you know. Um, yes, and then you can like slightly button this up just like that. If you want a more formal look, let's say if you're wearing this with a blouse, you could button it up. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's for the outfit, for the shoes, for the shoes. Mm -hmm. So for the shoes, these are like my new best shoes, you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, <laughs> then you've probably seen me in these shoes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so when my mom went to Chicago, I, the, the, this is like the main thing I had I wanted to get because I've been looking for um, thigh high black leather boots because my other ones got spoiled and I just, I wore them too much, like they were just becoming too worn out. So I wanted like new ones. So I asked my mom to get a for me for new ones and also wanted some which had a heel because my other ones were flat, but I didn't want like a thick, I didn't want a thin heel, I wanted like a thick comfy heel. So she literally got like, exactly what i wanted <laughs> and these boots are from rebecca minkoff so the designer you know now that i'm a designer guys i've started to understand the importance of the designer brands and you know feeling like mm, you know i'm wearing so and so and it's just like such a nice feeling like when you know it's legit yeah yeah so these are the boots <laughs> And I just love this look. Like, this look is so edgy. I feel like I'm about to take over the world. <laughs> I feel like I'm Catwoman, you know, about to take over the world. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and one last thing. I also got like this small briefcase bag as well. So this is from Switzerland as well. This is from, I don't know where she bought this from. Clockhouse, yes, Clockhouse. So Clockhouse is a fashion brand in Switzerland. And 
she got this for me my mom got, got this for me as well so this actually has a strap so if you don't want to carry it just like this as a briefcase bag then you can also like pull out the strap but i think i prefer it like this so this is how i've been carrying it i've been using this bag a lot lately and i just love because i asked her for a black bag you know so i love that it has like touches of white just to add to like the edginess and the uniqueness while still keep, keeping that simple look yeah so So now for like the last thing the last last thing are these shoes um, gosh guys i love these shoes so much these are from steve madden chicago like look at that first of all i love the flower detail that was the main reason so i told my mom because so makita my small sister has white shoes kind of similar to these and which have um so they're white they're like um spotty like canvas like like this and then they have the flower detail so i wanted what exactly like her but then i couldn't find white ones so she found this black ones and i think i actually prefer these black ones because it has like that white block at the bottom and then it's just so it's so edgy and it's so unique and i just find these shoes so beautiful like so beautiful <laughs> Like I'm not a fan of like sneaker type shoes, but these, 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 these are chic. These are feminine. These are lovely. So thank you so much, mommy, for getting on for, for me these shoes. And yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here because I have to prepare for my class now. It's like five something and my class starts at six. So let me get ready. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below to let me know which look or which item was your best. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.